All right, hey everybody. See Diggins here, pulling away. We'll see you all in person in a couple months. When she told me that she was going to be the first woman to hike the Ice Age Trail, the first black person, I know like a lot of people are concerned about her. One thousand two hundred miles is hard enough in good weather in the summertime, but in the middle of a Wisconsin winter, you know, this is one of the coldest winters I can remember. It was zero degrees when we went to bed last night. Now, fortunately, she's got Diggins with her. When I saw Emily throw out there that she was looking to borrow a sled dog, I thought, yeah, this would be perfect. They have formed this bond. Anything to say, Diggs? It's going to be hard for her to let go of Diggins. My lungs hurt, my body hurts, and my brain's just like, I'll never make it out of here. The only thing you can do is just keep moving forward. And all of a sudden, you know, there would be a, a sign and like a Ziploc bag. Oh, Emily, this is for you. <gasps> They're brownies. This trip was just a trip. <laughs> the ice woman cometh. <laughs> it then turned into something. People started watching. <laughs> I really think that Emily's story has taken off the way it has because we need it right now. She's lit so many of us on fire regardless of race or political affiliation. It, it kind of like hits me like, <laughs> this trip is more than just about me. This trip is about us.